Hi guys, welcome back to Handmade with Tara. I am Tara. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and a stay-at-home mom to three beautiful boys. And tonight I am going to show you this month's paper pumpkin box, the Exploring in Color May 2023 box. And Paper Pumpkin is a one-stop box subscription um, that you can start off doing just one month, see if you like it. You can do three months, six months, or a year. Um, my catalog is all kinds of fun, and <laughs> I have tabbed it and everything, but I want to show you just, this is the newest catalog, the annual May 2023 that just started to next year, April 2024 catalog. Um, if you don't have a copy of the catalog and would like one, please reach out. I'd be happy to send you one. Um, <clears throat> anything that I show you tonight, you can, um, all of the, the paper pumpkin subscriptions, anything that I show you, you can purchase from, um, the catalog and let me just show you first. Okay, so on page 13 of this new catalog is all about the Paper Pumpkin Box and the subscriptions. You can do a pay-as-you-go, and that kind of gives you a break on shipping. That's why it's more. Um, or you can just do a one-month prepaid, three-month, six-month, or 12-month subscription. And so what happens is you order by the 10th of each month, and then... Um, they send you that month's kit and then at the end of each month I try to do a beginner's workshop for kits for paper pumpkin and show everybody how easy it is to put together definitely great for beginner stampers um, or children or mom and child together is fun so I have not opened this box. I like to kind of let it be a surprise to me as well as to you so that we're finding this out all together. <laughs> and just so I can show you, like I'm not worried about it. Like it doesn't matter what's in this box right now. I will be able to do it because this is geared towards beginners. And it's step-by-step -step process. So really cool um, sentiments. It's got kind of like a, looks like maybe a hiking boot and like a coffee mug and a compass, which is really cool. Cheers to another adventure. Life is meant for good friends and great adventures. It doesn't matter where you're going. It's who you have beside you and happy birthday. All cool stamps that I could definitely use on tons of projects. I got a copper clay Stampin' Spot. That's one of the new colors that they just came out with. Um, one of the new in colors that they just came out with. Welcome in. This is giving a sneak preview, I believe, for the next box, which it looks like it's gonna be using the Countryside in Suite. That's kinda like a sneak peek. And then this is showing an add-on. So want to explore more. It's saying that you can extend your colorful crafting adventure with explore in color cards and envelopes. I did see that. Okay, so on the website, if you went on to the website, you could see where they have cards and envelopes that are kind of already ready to go that match and go with this paper pumpkin. So... See what we have. Um, as always, my uh, Stampin' Up uh, website right here. If you shop from my store, I do appreciate it. Anything that you buy supports me directly with my business, and I'm able to put back into it and continue to work doing things that I love. Working with paper crafts. Um, I never realized that. I was just gonna love this so much. Just immediately became obsessed and just enjoyed every minute of my time crafting, but also setting up workshops and, um, and building a team. That's probably been the most rewarding uh, thing that has happened since I started working with Stampin' Up. Um, my team is amazing. Uh, we have 
monthly meetings, we have get togethers, we have shoebox swaps, we have birthday swaps, we have all kinds of different things that we do together. If you're interested in joining my team, I'll make sure I put a link in the description below. And if you like and subscribe to my channel, you'll be in the now with all of the updated uh, information that I post on my on my YouTube channel. So these are some really cool envelopes. Look at these, they have like some buffalo. Then there's got some mountains and looks like some grassy area, like a pebble path looking thing. This is this copper clay color, copper clay. And this is Moody Mauve, one of the new ink colors. And this is Boho Blue, all wonderful, beautiful colors. Look at these cards, oh my gosh. So I love the paper pumpkin because you really just never know what you're gonna get. And this is gorgeous. So this is already set up um, to make, like I said, this is this would make nine cards. So three of each styles of card. Um, so we're gonna do one of each tonight. So what I like to do just to show you uh, how to follow along and how easy it is. There's a second one right there. It's really beautiful. And I can set this aside. Okay. And then awesome uh, perforated tabs like that are already ready to punch out and go. Um, this is some twine. I'm sorry, I meant to say that earlier. And then this is the third card. Just making sure. They all have this like very similar blue sky, like they go together almost here. How gorgeous. Oh, fun. This is Enjoy the Outdoors Explore Paper Pumpkin by Stampin' Up. These are some, just some decals, some stickers. Very cool. And oh, look, they have some binoculars and some compasses here. So I don't know about you, but I have boys. So we do scouts and scouts has been such a wonderful experience. Um, with my boys and they're really enjoying all of the scout things and they just did a camping trip which was really fun and so I was super excited about this paper pumpkin because I kind of had a sneak preview of it last month and I was thinking like oh the outdoors right this is perfect okay so this shows you a breakdown of the three different cards that they're gonna do we're gonna start with this one with the canoe and it looks like I'm going to need one of these tabs, so I'm just going to punch this out super easily, and I'm also going to use the twine on this one, and I'm also going to use, um, these are some Stampin' Dimensionals, looks like I'm going to use this square one here, so I just kind of like to press out everything that I'm gonna use on a certain project so that I am easily able to grab and go as I'm following along with the directions. So here we go, here is the first card that I'm gonna do. Oh, I totally grabbed the wrong one. Just kidding. I'm gonna start with, let's see. We're gonna start with one of these tabs. We're going to start off with, let's see, we got that. And we need some of the binoculars. And we need this long one with a tag on it. And I think that's all from this one. And some twine. So, and this one looks like a birthday card. I like to do it just like the example when I follow along. Um, just to make it simple on myself. 
Sometimes I need something different though, as far as like needing a different card, like for a specific reason, but I usually just follow right along. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this, but on the bottom of my mat here, so Stampin' Up! sells these are like um, mats ready to go um, that you can use as scrap paper behind yours, but they also have a measuring device, which is why I really like them. Um, so I need 12 inches or 30.5 centimeters. So 30.5 centimeters would be right there. Also, if you don't have a mat, because obviously everything's in this box that you need, you just turn this to the side and there is a measuring um, ruler right here for you. So you really don't need to veer far from this package here. I did use my snips, so these are Stampin' Up! snips, and they're great for cutting um, paper and around really small objects and stuff, um, and twine and ribbon, no problem. And then, so that's an extra add-on that doesn't come with the box. And then I also like to use my bone folder. So this is my Stampin' Up! bone folder. And I'll show you what it does really quick and easy. This is the card that I'm working on next. I'm working on this one now. So this is what it looks like. And this is kind of like what's happening right now. So that's just me folding it over myself. The bone folder helps it stay flat so that it's a flat working surface. So when I'm working, I don't have to worry about like keep pushing the card down. So it just kind of shows you um, how to do that. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my snips to cut this seal open so that I can use this stampin' spot. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna ask that you spare with me <laughs> because this is always like a tricky thing for me because I kind of try to like do it right on that line so that it's an easy open but I know Oop, there we go there we go so Memorial Day is next weekend does anybody have any plans for Memorial Day we have plans to go visit my grandmother. I'm so excited. She's my biggest fan. <laughs> okay, so in your very first box of your paper pumpkin, if you are to subscribe, then you would get a Stampin' Up! paper pumpkin block. And it looks... Uh, just like a normal block it's a little thinner this is a D block so it's a little bit bigger and chunkier and easier for me to get a hold of but like I said if you're ordering paper pumpkin it's your first time ordering your paper pumpkin then it comes with its own block so you don't have to worry about not having what you need so and these are photopolymer stamps so you can see right through them. Uh, you can see if there's good coverage with the ink. I just do a light tap all the way across with that copper clay. And then what I can do is to make a really nice print, again, I'm gonna just pull out an extra here. This is a Stampin' Up! foam pad. Um, and when you stamp the photopolymer stamp on top of the foam pad, it just leaves a really nice crisp print. Um, so sometimes I get lucky without the foam pad, but most of the time I just know that the foam pad's going to give it a little bit more of a squish and make a really nice print. So then I'm going to use my Simply Chamois and I'm just going to clean that off. So this is also, um, like a must have item in my opinion to clean your stamps and to keep them clean as you're working. All right, so that's the first step and I'm just following along right here. So it says first stamp the happy birthday. Then, okay, I'm going to 
twisty twine. I'm going to twist the twine and I'm going to put some glue dots on the back of this moody mauve strip here. So I'm going to twist this one and I'm going to put some, all right, so I'm going to grab my take your pick tool. So these are all like extra tools that don't come with the kit, but that are awesome to have for little things like this. So I'm going to put these little glue dots on the back of this strip. So you can do that with your fingernail as well. You can also do it with scissors or snips or whatever. Um, I just like the take your pick tool. It's really fast and easy for me. So it's something my go-to my go-to tool. So I just took that off and then I actually am going to like twisty, twisty tie this one. And I might actually, it says to put a dimensional on it, but I'm gonna see how I'm gonna put this together first. So it looks like you put this one down first. So I'm going to Put this one on the card first, right here, underneath that tent in the grass. I'm just going to make it so that it's a little angled. All right, then the next thing I'm gonna do is, so I like to put my glue dot on the Moody Mob here strip and I'm going to pick the top off here. And then what I'm gonna do with the twine is I'm going to center it. So I'm going to pull it as long as it is. And then I'm gonna pull, place it down on that glue dot like that. So that I should have about an even amount of twine on both sides. And I'm just gonna make a nice loop here. And so that was like the, you know, using my, my best judgment there. And I just make like a faux bow behind here. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some dimensionals on either end of this. So I'm going to grab this dimensional pack. I just lightly press up from the back of it to pop those out. And placement matters so they show you in the directions right here where to put the dimensionals so I just I'm going to do it just like them and then I'm going to set it right on top of that faux bow and I'm going to kind of give myself a little shine behind here and then I actually need to also put my binoculars up on a dimensional so that's going to go on the back of here that's going to go over here like right on the edge here so you don't want anything to like go off the edges or it won't fit into the envelope so that's really important to make sure that the card is even. So I was like half tempted to put the binoculars over further. Um, so just have that in mind when you're putting this together, uh, that it needs to be even with that. And then that way, when you have the card, it should slide right into there easily. Look how pretty that is. So that'll go together, these two. So that's card number one, that's done. So super, super easy. The card is already printed so beautiful, so you don't really have to do a lot of work with these, so pretty awesome. I'm just gonna clean up my stamp one more time and I'm gonna pluck this off here. And it just shows you how easy these photopolymer stamps are to use. Um, you can pull them off and switch out so you don't need a hundred different blocks anymore. You just are down to one. Okay, so here is the next one. I need life isn't is meant for good friends and great adventures. 
so I'm just gonna grab this big stamp here. And this D block is the same size as a paper pumpkin block, so that's about what it will look like right in the middle of your of your stampin' block. And so this is the one that I got ready before, so I already have all the pieces. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and stamp first. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this piece, grab my copper clay stamping spot, and I'm going to open this. And since it's a bigger stamp, I think it's easier if I do it this way. You can go this way or you can flip the stamp the other way and dab the stamp into the ink spot, but I think this is easier when it's a bigger stamp. And again, I'm gonna use my foam pad just because it just makes it so much nicer of a print. And I can, just put that right on there and then I can set that right in the middle and then just a firm press right down and then I have a print there. I'm gonna clean my stamp off with my Simply Chamois and I can pull this stamp off and I can return this to my little stamp pad here. So, and it does have the words on there so you know where the stamp goes back so you can return it to its spot every time. So that's step number one. Step number two was to cut some twine. So I need 30 inches or 50.8 centimeters of twine. So I have 40 centimeters here. I don't know if you can see that. 40 centimeters here. So 40. 50.8, so we'll just do 50 and a half. I think that should be plenty of twine. And then this is gonna get wrapped around this piece. So, again, if I was to put this back here, what I'm gonna do to make it easy on myself, since I have plenty of glue dots. I'm just going to grab a glue dot. I'm going to put this on the back. So it did not say to do this. I'm just doing this because I think it'll be easier to keep the twine, twine in place. So I'm going to pull this tight and about where the center is, I'm going to attach it to here just to give myself a basis of it's not going to all off and it looks like they tied a little bow so I'll do my best so they have these reverse tweezers and I actually think I got a pair but they're not close to me I have to go searching for them let's see Oops, I was so close. So the reverse tweezers obviously would just hold that bow right there in place so you could make a nice little bow. But, all right, I did it. All right, so I just made a little tiny bow and then you can pull it to make it look how you want it to look. And then you can trim the excess off if you like. I'm gonna trim it all the way down, like so. Then this is gonna go over here. I'm gonna move my foam pad here. And this piece is gonna get dimensionals on the back. So I'm gonna do the four corners here. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. And then this is gonna go on the front. So again, I'm gonna just grab this in front of me here. Oh, this isn't the one, I need the canoe. The canoe. And I'm gonna use my bone folder. 
flatten that out really nice and easy and add this to the front and <clears throat> it's just kind of like right there so there I have my little thing right there on the front and then I'm just gonna add a couple of glue dots on the back and they're not quite in the corners. I think that they're gonna fit on here. So I'm going to grab my glue dots, put one, two, three, four, So when I pluck these off here, so something nobody will ever tell you about Stampin' Up! is how much of these fun little papers you'll be picking up off the floor. <laughs> and the little dimensional papers, it's my, it's a, it's a game I play with myself, <laughs> picking up all these things and, or finding them around the house. Cause I'll have workshops here and then I'll just find them everywhere. And that's fun, right? Because they remind me of a fun time. All right, so then I'm going to put that down right there. So life is meant for good friends and great adventures. And I think that's it. All right, I'm looking at the directions and that is done. Super simple. I mean, unbelievably simple, guys. That's card number two. And we're already on card number three. And it doesn't matter where you're going. It's who you have beside you. Oh, I really like that sample. I'm glad they used that one. Doesn't matter. Let's get this bottom one here. So you see that we're just using the sentiments now. So that means they just give you some extra stamps that you don't even use for this, but that you can come up with alternative cards. You can come up with alternative ideas with these um, cards. So it's kind of awesome because they just give you so much extra materials too. Uh, not just what comes in the box for the products in the box, but you have so much extra. So I'm gonna need the compass. I'm gonna need one of these straight pieces here. I'm gonna need one of the sentiment blocks like this and some twine. So, and I'm gonna need 35.6 centimeters of twine. So I'm coming down to my ruler, 35 point I'm gonna just go 35, I'm gonna just go 36, cause, oh wait, yeah, centimeters. I was making sure I was looking at the right <laughs> metric. Okay, so I saved this, so this is all um, what's left over for the next two, three, four, five, whatever cards, six cards um, that we have left. This is going to get like a loop de -loop and put behind our little sentiment pad. So let's go ahead and stamp our sentiment first. We'll grab our foam pad right here. Put that here and grab my stampin' spot here. So some of these tools, I mean, like they're really nice to have um, but you don't really need them for this project. It just makes your life easier if you have them, but don't need them to get it done. And what I love about the paper pumpkin boxes is that I have cards on hand for when I need birthday, holiday, thinking of you, thank yous for teachers, whatever I need. I usually can go to my paper pumpkin boxes and find something that I can use for whatever the occasion is. So it's very nice to have cards on hand where, you know, you used to have like a stockpile of cards. This is kind of cool because 
they're handmade cards, cards that you actually hand stamp and make. So it's really cool that you are also, you know, it's part of the gift. It becomes more than just a gift. And so I'm going to go ahead and put this back right here. There we go. And this just is like a plastic protector to make sure that they don't get all grossed. Gross or slimed. And we're going to go ahead and follow directions. So we're going to put some glue dots on the back of this one. Here we go. So I'm really curious how everybody who does already subscribes to Paper Pumpkin likes this kit. How are we feeling about it? The new ink colors. I personally love them. I think that the last round wasn't really my uh, taste as far as colors go, but this time I'm definitely, I loved all the new ink colors this time. I, I think it's so funny how everybody is so different when, with, when it comes to what they like and what looks good to them. Everybody's so different. Okay, I'm using that bone folder to push that down so that I can have a nice flat surface so I can put this down here. Mm -hmm. And glue dots are similar to glue that you, and until you push it all the way down, like it's not stuck. So you can kind of pick it up and move it and adjust it a little tiny bit like glue. Like, all right, so that's step two. Step three, I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back of this one here. One, two, three, two, three. And one on the back of the compass here, one. And I'm gonna use that twine that I cut earlier. And I'm going to just take off these other sides so I find these everywhere in my house, guys. It's really, <laughs> it's, 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 it's comical. My husband's like, are we, are we ever going to be done with these? No, no, never. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. It's so funny to me. I don't even entertain like not having stuff like that in my house anymore. It just is what it is. And we're going with it. So I just kind of loop de loop that and then stuck it to the back. And then I'm going to switch this over and I'm going to center it on that Moody Mauve strip as best that I can and push it down. And then I'm going to add this compass here in the corner up here like that. And that is the third cards, my friends. Like one, two, three, boom, boom, boom. Hey, I forgot. Birthday, holiday, friendship, whatever I need a card for, I have a card for. And I don't have to sit there and be like, oh no, I don't have a card. Like, what am I going to do? I just grab and go, guys. This is amazing. And coordinating envelopes are my jam. Like, this is super fun. Coordinating envelopes here. Super, three, super, super easy designs. A child could do this for sure. A great way to build up your supplies. Great way to build up your, you know, stampin', uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Your stamping um, confidence. So I know a lot of people, you know, struggle with, hey, what am I supposed to do? Hey, this gives you everything you're supposed to do so you don't have to think about it. You just follow along the directions. Once you start getting more confident, that's when you start venturing off and coming up with your own designs on things. So 
it can really, some people come up with really amazing uh, designs for their paper pumpkin boxes. So if they're like, oh, these are too simple for me, I don't really like them, I'm gonna try to make something on my own, and then they come up with some really neat things. And social media is great for that, for finding different options for cards that you can make with the kit. Um, I like to keep them on hand, like I said, for, you know, if I forgot a birthday or a holiday that's coming up. So it's just nice to have cards that are right there that I can make anything that I need them to be. Um, and you start to collect lots of stuff, lots of extra. So, I mean, just to give you an idea, I used, you know, these, this many dimensionals. So I still have this many dimensionals left to use on the rest of the projects. Um, I mean, this Stampin' Spot will be good for a long time. I can use this on all the projects that I'm using on. Um, all the materials, you know, it's all good stuff that will last you on all of your projects to come. So, like, you know, you don't have to use them if you're working on something else and you're like, oh, no, I ran out of dimensionals. I always can look at my paper pumpkin boxes and find usually what I need um, to finish a project off. So, very awesome. And... Uh, I hope you like this tutorial. If you do, please um, like and subscribe my channel. I will always um, try to post videos on the a beginner's class, and I also have an advanced class usually at the end of the month um, that I work on, and that just depends on what stamp set I'm working on for that month. Um, this is actually really cool. So on the back side of the directions, it does show a couple of different alternate designs that they did. Um, and then it also has a paperpumpkinhowto.com where you can watch detailed instructions for each kit um, So uh, with Stamp It Up. So I think that when I've watched those videos, they don't do a walkthrough. They just kind of like show you. It's a show through. So, um, so it, you know, if you don't want to <laughs> sit and listen to me talk for an hour or whatever, that's when you're like, oh, let me just go watch the one that Stamp It Up does. And that's fine. You don't hurt my feelings. Just have fun with it. No matter what, it keeps stamping. Um, that's the goal. Have some fun with it. Enjoy sharing them with others, sharing your projects with others. Um, that's always been a joy of mine. So I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next time. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, a wonderful week. Um, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.